But that's it. Like when people talk about, you know, your favorite players and, and the, or the best players in the world, you know, I say Mike and I say Kobe. You know what I mean? And then everybody else. LeBron's after that for you? Um, definitely. So when I hear Stephen A going off on these rants about how Kobe Bryant is not this and not that, you didn't have that energy when he was here. Where was that energy when he was alive? But even when he was alive, I said, I got MJ as number one, LeBron as number two. Now, there has been a debate about Kobe Bryant being in the GOAT conversation. Is he top two after Jordan? And obviously, this started and sparked a lot of interest when Allen Iverson was being interviewed where he says Kobe is in his top two after Mike. And he believes that he is top two because of the way he went about the game, the way he approached the game. When I checked into my hotel room later that night and saw the 35, he said, I lost it. I flipped the table, threw the chairs, broke the TV. There's more. He said, I obsessively read every article and book I could find about AI, watched every game he had played going back to high school. He said he studied shark attack videos to think about angles that he could approach you at because you move so fast. And he thought that might help you. I mean, what do you, when you hear that, he broke a TV in his hotel room because he saw you had a good game and he didn't. I don't know. I just look at that as... Yeah, that's Kobe Bryant. Yeah, but you, he said you were the one. He didn't say I was obsessed with everyone in the league. But he didn't I'm, say I watched everyone else's game back to high school. He said it was with, you. With Kobe, he was so different to where it's, it was like, Phil, I want the assignment. You know what I mean? Take Fisher off him, I want the assignment. Mm -hmm. I've never seen nobody as competitive like him, but Mike, that's it. Like when people talk about, you know, your favorite players and, and the, or the best players in the world, you know, I say Mike and I say Kobe, you know what I mean? And then everybody else. LeBron's after that for you? Um, definitely. Okay. Definitely after that. And obviously this is all opinionated and then Stephen A chimed in and believes that Kobe is not number two after MJ. He believes LeBron is there, but still thinks Kobe is in that top five to top 10 conversation, of course. Somebody, a former NBA player, made news on a different podcast talking about me, so I feel the need. Why run from it? Just address it head on. You know, recently I spoke on Allen Iverson's thoughts that the great Kobe Bryant, the Black Mamba, uh, should not be ahead of LeBron James on the all-time list as the greatest player in NBA history or number two to Michael Jordan. And obviously there were people who took umbrage to that. One of them was former NBA player Rashad McCants. Uh, who expressed his opinions on what I said when he appeared on Gilbert Arenas' podcast. Listen to what Rashad McCants had to say. So when I hear Stephen A going off on these rants about how Kobe Bryant is not this and not that, you didn't have that energy when he was here. Where was that energy when he was alive? And stop bringing this man who passed to extend your narrative. Why would, why would Kobe be in the conversation for you to kill him off so LeBron can live higher than him? Right. It don't make no sense. Let the man rest. Let's keep him wherever everyone has him. If you got him one, you got him two, you got him three. We don't need nobody trying to push him down, push him away so somebody else can be elevated. LeBron going to be LeBron. Yeah. Mike going to be Mike. We've been comparing Kobe Mike forever. Here comes LeBron. Okay, join the conversation. But don't be trying to diminish my man's name yeah. like he wasn't that guy. Former NBA player Rashad McCants chimed in on this on Gil's Arena. Now, McCants believes that Kobe is always shunned away from that GOAT conversation and more recently because he is no longer with us. And then Stephen A rebuttaled McCants' statements. <clears throat> A couple of things. Rashad McCants, first order of business, respectfully. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. You don't have a goddamn clue, period. You don't know. So let me educate you. Number one, if you're going to quote me, quote me accurately. The receipts are there. I have never, nor would I ever, diminish the Black Mamba. That's number one. Number two, I didn't have the energy when he was here. Kobe was a friend of mine. I told Kobe to his face when he was alive. Because I've been calling LeBron number two to Michael Jordan before Kobe passed away. God rest his soul. 
That is a fact. It is something that we debated about. When Shaquille O'Neal comes on the show a little bit later on today, he'll confirm that for you. Just ask him because he likes you too. Now, I'm not sitting there coming at you derogatorily as if I got a beef with you. I got a problem with you. I don't know you that well, but I got mad respect for you. You were a college basketball player in North Carolina. You won a national championship, okay, in 2005. I saw you against Michigan State. I saw you against Illinois. I saw you against Villanova. I know who you are and what the hell you could do. Mad respect to you, and I know you know the game. But evidently, you need lessons on how to quote people accurately and not to come across as somebody who's personalizing some kind of comments just because you don't like them. I'm not here to agree with you, just like you wasn't on, Gil, on Gilbert Arenas' podcast to agree with me. You entitled to your damn opinion, I'm entitled to my damn opinion. What's the problem? Why is it that it's hating just because I don't have him as number two all time? I think Kobe Bryant is the second greatest two guard in the history of basketball behind Michael Jordan. You can debate whether or not he's the greatest Laker of all time. I would happen to say he's number two to Magic Johnson because Magic Johnson is the greatest point guard to have ever lived. He's a quintessential point guard who galvanized the troops around him and went to nine NBA finals in a decade and won five titles. That's my opinion. There are plenty of people who would disagree with that, but they wouldn't label it as demeaning this man and literally bringing up his death to point out as if I'm tainting his legacy and tainting his soul, which I would never do. He was a friend of mine. I covered him for years. We knew each other on a personal level. We spoke on a personal level, which ain't really anybody's business, but those who know, know. But even when he was alive, I said, I got MJ as number one, LeBron as number two. Now, where would I come up with that? I would come up with that because he was playing with Shaq when Shaq was in his prime as the most dominant force in the game and arguably our lifetime outside of Wilt Chamberlain in some people's eyes, even including Wilt Chamberlain in some people's eyes, even though Wilt Chamberlain once averaged 50 and 25 in a season. But those were my feelings. I pointed that out. I pointed out how the Lakers ultimately disbanded because of the friction that existed between him and Shaq. I pointed out how Kobe ultimately became a scoring champion and a league MVP, and in the process of doing so, went back to three straight NBA Finals with Pau Gasol and Andrew Bynum and deserved mad credit for that. But I pointed out the blowout loss in the Finals to KG and Ray Allen and Paul Pierce and Rondo in the Finals. We're talking basketball. That's it. You know it better than me. You played. And also had a conversation with Shaquille O'Neal. So now what Shaq is saying is that everything, of course, is opinionated. And of course, he's stuck up for Kobe. I'm thinking Kobe Bryant's top 10 all time, probably top five. What's wrong with me not saying that he's not number two all time in the history of basketball? What's wrong with that, Shaq? We as people, we don't stand on what we stand on. But I have a problem with, you, you know, what you said. Like, it doesn't matter who the GOAT is. My, my guy should be in the conversation. Yes. No, but hold on. So Rashad was saying is like, you guys just throw him out of the conversation. So somehow it just went from Mike to LeBron and you just threw my guy out of the conversation. His name needs to be in there all the time mm -hmm. and, when, and when his name is not in there that's when people have a problem there is nothing on earth to question the greatness of kobe bryant but it did help for those first three rings that he had you in your prime to some degree that's not the point the point everybody is making is don't leave him out the conversation i'm not leaving him out the conversation you are i always hear mike and LeBron, and I used to hear Mike and Kobe. Certain people can be in a conversation, certain people can't. Before y'all say one and two, you can't leave my guy out. And believes he should always be in that conversation. But what do you think? Is Kobe top two after Jordan? Or is he just in your top five or top 10? And if you want more NBA videos or basketball related videos like this, make sure you like and subscribe. See you later. This is Game on the Line.